Today we're talking about the universal RF USB keyboard emulation device. You know, some things, they lend themselves to a good acronym, but I, I kept having trouble with this one, so the best I could come up with was, was ERFUKED. So today we're going to talk about ERFUKED. Um, <laughs> and some, you know, some work better than others. Um, but we have to do the uh, obligatory about the author. So we'll fly through this and, and then get on with it. So my name is this, and I'm all of these. And I'm also one of these, except I'm not this kind. So um, I'm more like this kind. Except sometimes I have to put on one of these so that I can think like one of these, so that I can keep a server room which is supposed to look like this from looking like this. <laughs> and uh, I'm kind of into this, uh, except it looks like this, and I have to wear one of these. And you won't find it here, but you will find it here. And it looks a little like this, and I've won some of these. All right, so that's it. Let's go back for a quick review. We see that I'm kind of into this. <laughs> And I'm sort of into this. <laughs> and I've been told I look a little like this. <laughs> or, or maybe more like this. <laughs> but in any case, I've never been involved with this particular one of these. All right, so that's me. Uh, let's start. Uh, the Universal RF USB Keyboard Emulation Device, uh, or FUKED. <laughs> consists of two parts. Uh, at the top we have a transmitter and at the bottom a, a USB, essentially a USB receiver, uh, a microcontroller. Here's a quick overview and then we'll get with the demo and talk about it a little more. Basically a microcontroller is plugged into a computer secret, secretly, right? This is a, uh, you know, this is a physical attack but uh, it has certain advantages, right? You look kind of suspicious, right? We know you own a box. When, when you get the box out and you open it up and you take the hard drive out and you start doing that and that's kind of hard to do in somebody's office while they're walk, watching you or while you're walking by. Uh, this physical attack means plug it in this receiver and leaving. Uh, then track, uh, attacks are triggered remotely uh, by RF uh, from the transmitter. Uh, and we'll see how that's done. Let's do a live demo. Time to pray to the demo gods. All right, who brought a machine? No malicious uh, attacks here that will volunteer and, and bring it on up. Come on up. Come on up. All right. Any, anybody else? Any USB, you know, powered devices? I'll tell you what. Wait right here. We got ladies first. <laughs> but hey, you get this. You get this cool looking t-shirt. All right? Everybody gets a t-shirt. All right, come on up. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Let, let him up here. What size, what size t-shirt do you wear? Uh, large. large. This is medium, 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 medium. It doesn't work, work on Linux. It says universal, doesn't it? Okay. Large? Yep. All right, who's next? What size? Large. large. Whatever you prefer. Let's see what else. If we got some more larges, oh, another large. Do I know you? I know you. Well, I know your talks. Large. Oh man. Let me see. One more large. But I just hit it. I don't. I don't know if you saw what they say. They say, uh, "I make the internet work" in big letters, and the little letters are. You're welcome. <laughs> They're cute. I get lots of comments on them. All right, we got a little Windows box up here. Yes. 
Yes, 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 yes. All right, you guys will see bigger pictures later on, because you can't see this here, but um, I've got um, pictures in the presentation. But and, and it actually works pretty well for laptops because most people use a docking station, right? They stand up, they walk away, they don't check the back of their docking station, they just plug their machine into it in the mornings. At least that's the way it's worked for me. <laughs> um, and again, we'll go in more detail in a second, but I'm going to select an attack. This looks like Windows. That's zero 01, attack zero 01. So we set the attack and then we hit transmit. Whoa, and away it goes. So much for live demos. We'll try one more time. Oh, we can't. Oh, let's try moving. All right. Which way? Not see the whole thing. Let me let me look at this. Uh, seeing any of this. It should be a, uh, it should be mirror. All right, hang on. Yeah. It didn't work. Oh, I have USB. Oh, yeah, the video's right. It's like, they can put the game to the right. Okay. All right, let's try that. We, can we reacquire this one? Oh, much better. Thank you. I forget, what are you supposed to sacrifice to the demo gods? I'm not. Is that what it is? Where do you find those? <laughs> okay, in any case, set the attack up. And hit the transmit button, and away it goes. Wow, an amazing demo. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. All right, well, guys, um, if you guys want to come talk to me in the uh, over in the speaker room, this is actually a setup. She's my coworker. <laughs> And we had this bet about whether or not I could get anybody else to volunteer to come up and, uh, and, and volunteer their machines. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys just hear it. <laughs> yeah. uh, and I got a few more of these t-shirts for anybody else who wants them. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks. All right, so let's get back to the uh, to the rest of it. That was a demo, which I think went remarkably well. All right, well, you know, you always have to have a backup plan in case that fails. Uh, that also gives us a chance to take a look at what happens. Uh, so what really happened was that um, this device depends, uh, pretends to be a keyboard. And so it uses keyboard shortcuts and execute commands with the permission of the user. Uh, in this case, uh, it uses uh, the Windows key and an R to pop up this uh, run dialog box. It executes notepad.exe. Uh, this is a non-malicious example, but you know it could, uh, it could just as easily be any arbitrary command. Uh, when that uh, window comes up, it gets a focus and it's able to type in that window as well. Uh, so you see that you can, um, you know, you could run an arbitrary command and you can uh, and then send it information. Now you're doing this blind. This is, this is pre-scripted. It's run by this microcontroller uh, that's, that's plugged in the machine, uh, which also gives us some, some other abilities to do some, some cool stuff. Uh, it's universal, so uh, it has to run on Apple too. And uh, here's what it looks like, you know, pretty much the same thing. Uh, the key sequences are, um, oh yeah, they're, they're the same on, they're pretty much the same on Apple. Now Apple, 
you know, I thought I thought with Apple it was a, everything was supposed to just work, but in this case, uh, because probably because of the identifier I have up, it says, "Hey, I don't recognize this keyboard." And could you press, you know, the key what, to the right of the shift or something uh, to help me identify it? And and then it's okay. Um, so of course you can script all that in as well. Uh, but the the easiest thing to do is 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 let the user do it. I did I did this. Um, uh, you know, a couple of guinea pigs around my office, they should know better, but I'm, I'm like, hey, I've got this real cool thing I want to show you, you know, are you game? And they say yes, I usually get permission. And so, you know, in the morning before he gets there, I plug it into his machine. Uh, later on during the day, I come in and I do the demo for him. I hit the, I get the little transmitter, I hit it, it opens up this box in his machine, he's like amazed, how'd you do that? You know, you control my machine with, with RF. So we went through the little talk and, and how it works that, you know, it, it's doing the keyboard emulation, and I plugged in this microcontroller. He's like, "Oh yeah," and he's a he's a smart guy. He's a security-minded guy. He was like, "Yeah, when I got here this morning, there was this pop-up thing, and I just clicked through, and you know, I forgot about it." So, <laughs> that's always the best thing. Just let the users <laughs> let the users do it. Um, oh yeah, and it can't really be universal without without Linux, of course. Now if, in Linux. It just works. <laughs> you don't get any pop-ups. You don't get any messages. You plug it in, and it goes. You're you're done. You're good. Um, and in this case, uh, pull up a shell and, and type into the shell, which again you recognize you could execute any kind of arbitrary command that you want to execute. All right. So let's talk a little bit about you know what. What might you want to do? What can you do with this kind of a resource? Um, some of the things may be uh, political style attacks. I know um, uh, uh, kitty porn tends to be a big issue. Um, <laughs> you can um, <coughs> you could imagine uh, <laughs> bringing this up on somebody's machine, and you can also. Um, Combined with a with a denial of service attack, you can uh, denial of service the mouse on the on the machine. You pull it all the way down to the bottom right, and it's moving so fast that that you effectively have no control. Right, you're trying to bring it back, but you can't. This thing types a lot faster than a lot faster than you do. Um, I think you can overwhelm the keyboard buffer, uh, the keyboard uh, strokes too. I haven't done that yet. I'm missing kind of the top of the. I'm missing the title of those of the slides. Anyway, if they're logged into Facebook, uh, you can post Facebook commands. Apparently, this was a real one. <laughs> Maybe um, they forgot their boss was on there, and you know, said some pretty ugly stuff and got fired. So you know, usually when you're doing a, a, a Trojan horse kind of attack, you have to get the user to do the work, right? They have to download the stuff and they have to install it and. And you know it's a lot of hard labor, but here you can you can script it, right? You're running with their permissions on their machine after they log in. Um, you know some other things you could do is uh, run an email or FTP. Uh, of course, you can remove any file that they have access to if you want to. Uh, the same thing about being logged into other uh, accounts like eBay or PayPal. Um, you know, maybe it's just enough to insert. I, I was wondering, how do you get somebody to install a you know a root certificate authority if you're not DEFCON? Um, so maybe you could just maybe that's enough, right? You uh, you automatically install it, and from then on, you can man in the middle of them. Um, since it's also a microcontroller, um, yeah, this screen is. Can we try reacquiring it? We're missing the top and the bottom. No, nope, maybe. Oh, much better. So this is a microcontroller. You can also uh, time delay it, right? So, um, you know, the the scenario goes: you're plugging in the you're you're plugging in the receiver when when somebody's not there. They stepped out for lunch, or before they get in in the morning, or after they leave. You know, this is the kind of the physical attack that you might do while you're talking to somebody, 